Hello and welcome back. So in this video, we're going to learn about the meta arguments in Terraform and Terraform provides you with different meta arguments like depends on, count, for each and life cycle. So meta arguments in Terraform are extremely useful and it saves a lot of time for DevOps and cloud engineers. So in this video, I'm going to teach you about the count meta argument. And if you go to the actual documentation by Terraform, it shows how you can use the count argument. It has the basic syntax and an example, but I am going to show you with a practical example. So let's go to the VS code. And if you have seen my previous video on how to create Amazon EC2 instance using Terraform, so you will know that this block of code is going to create a single EC2 instance, right? If you're not sure, I can run Terraform plan now and you can see that this code is going to create a single EC2 instance. So let's wait for the plan to come out. And as you can see, it is going to create only a single EC2 instance. So let's say you have a scenario where you want to have uh, 10 EC2 instance with same AMI and same instance type. If you don't know about meta arguments, what you will do is you are going to copy this code and you're going to paste it 10 times, right? 10 times I'm going to do this 10 times. So if I do this 10 times, I have to also make changes to the name of the uh, resource type so the first is going to be web and then I have to do it web 1 web 2 web 3 web 4 and so on now if I save it should create the 0 1 2 3 and 4 5 instances right so if I run terraform plan now I should see that 5 instances are going to be created so if I want to have more instances, then I have to do it 10 times. If I want 50 instances, I have to do it 50 times. And that is a lot of work, right? So if you see here in the plan, it says that the five instances are going to be created, right? So if I don't want to repeat my task, what I will do is I will use the count meta argument, which is very, very, very useful. And I use it a lot. So I'm going to remove all of this code right now and remove it and save it now. So count to use count you have to type in the count equals to how many resources do you want so i want let's say five resources so i'm going to put in count equals to five and save it now if i run terraform plan it should show that five instances are going to be created so we will wait and it says that the five instances are going to be created so if you scroll up here in the plan you can see that the last instances is named as web 4 right the index to the last instance is going to be four then will be three two one and lastly it will be zero right so the first instance is zero then one then two then three then four right so now we have we know that the five instances are going to be created let's apply it to see it in the console so i'm going to run terraform apply hyphen auto hyphen approve if i go to the console here and I do refresh this. This are the previously created. So I don't have any running instances. All of these are the previous run. So I'm going to filter this for running instance state running. And now I don't see any because the instances are going to be created now. So the, it is creating 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So 5 instances are created using the meta argument. So you don't have to repeat this block of code 5 times. You can just put in the count meta argument. And it says that the apply has completed and the 4 resources are created. So if I refresh this. You can see that the five instances are created, but they don't have any tags and I cannot differentiate uh, all of them. So, right. So I go back to the count to the actual documentation and you can see that it is referring to count dot index. So using this count dot index, you can name your instances. You can give names to them. So let's try to use it and I'm going to give tags to this instances. So I'm going to use tags equals to so name is going to be let's say give let's give each of the instance like instance one instance two instance three instance four so i'm going to put this instance and count dot index so it will be count dot index and save this so now it should change the instance and put in the tags for them so i'm going to run terraform plan to see actually the tags are going to be created or not so let's wait and if you see it is going to refresh because it is already created and it says that the five instances are going to be changed that means the tags are going to be added to them so the last instance is going to be instance four and instance three two one and zero right so the count dot index is going to provide the index to all of the instances so the first is going to be instance zero one two three four so let's 
terraform apply this to see actually on the console so now i don't have any tags here and once it is going to be once it is created we should see that the tags are added so you can use count.index to provide indexes to them and you should know that the index always start with the zero so it always starts with zero and it goes from zero to one two three for how many instances or resources you want to be created using the count met argument so it says that the apply has been completed and if i go back to the console and i refresh this i should see that the tags are added so it is zero one two three four so this is how you can use count uh, meta argument to create as many resources as you want and it is not limited to 5 or 10 I can create 50 or 500 as many resources as I want and but just remember just remember that you're going to be charged for this so if I run terraform plan I should see that 45 more instances should be added because 5 are already created and let's wait and see if terraform plan so it says the 45 instances are going to be added so using just this meta argument you can re create as many resources as you want you don't have to copy the code uh, repetitively you don't have to copy the code every time and you can see uh, it should also have the tags so the last instance has the tag 49 so second last will be 48 47 46 and so on so using count meta argument you can create as many resources as you want and this is not limited to only AWS instance. I've also used it in creating VPCs and subnet. So this is my code and I'm using the count to create three subnets to create three subnets and I'm giving the side block as 10.0 count index. So the first subnet is going to be is going to have 10.0.0.0 slash 24 and the sec second subnet is going to have a side block of 10.0.1 dot zero and then the last subnet is going to have 10.0.2.0 slash 24 right if you're using meta argument count and for each you might be confused as when to use for each and when to use count so whenever you want to have the same settings like you want to have same ami and same instance type so you want to have same ami and same instance type for all the instance you can use count but if you want to have different you can use for each and i'm going to teach you for each and depends on and life cycle meta argument in the upcoming videos so if you have learned how to use count meta argument please like this video and subscribe to this channel if you have any doubts or any questions if you want me to cover any other topic you can let me know in the comment section and i hope you have a good day thank you